Changes are coming to the way electricity will be distributed in the coming decade. Homeowners and businesses are now being encouraged to generate their own power. It's called distributed generation, or simply DG. DG systems include solar panels, wind energy turbines, and clean fuel generation systems. Possible advantages of these alternative power sources include a lower electric bill, a reduced carbon footprint, reduced exposure to future electricity price increases, and better power reliability. The complexity is how do we seamlessly mesh these different sources of electricity into a common energy grid? That's where the smart grid comes into play. The smart grid helps utilities reliably and efficiently integrate renewable technologies into the power grid. Making these different types of systems work together is challenging. Wind and solar systems, for instance, have variable outputs. If there is little wind or it's cloudy, these systems generate little or no power. When this happens, the smart grid can bring stored energy online, or the power utility can be notified to increase output. It's a complex balancing act because the total amount of power on the grid needs to equal the total usage of power at any given time. The smart grid keeps the two sides of this equation in balance. This prevents outages or oversupply. Generating your own alternative energy has financial advantages. In most states, the power company will actually pay you for any excess energy you don't need for your home or business. But you can't do this alone because you still need the power grid. If the sun's not shining on your solar panel, you will need to access the grid. If you generate excess electricity and want to get reimbursed by your utility, you will need to add your excess electricity to the power grid. Many utilities and communities are choosing to install solar arrays where the power can be shared by multiple households. These solar power plants are giving virtually anyone the option to go solar without installing solar panels on your roof or property. So to determine if you're a good candidate for DG, what must you consider? First, determine if you are a good candidate for solar panels through a quick housing checklist. If you aren't, some utilities offer shared community solar. Check with your local utility. All of this is made possible by the smart grid. Think of it as the musical conductor that makes sure all the instruments play in harmony. Distributed generation is here to stay, and as energy consumers, we will all benefit from this decentralized and clean energy source of electrical power.